What it do, what it do, back again coming through. Who that is? That ain't nobody but Sumi Sue about to do the do. I know I look like Carrot Top. <laughs> okay, but just give me a minute. Give me a chance, okay, to rectify the situation. A little curly fro, okay, a little something, something, whoop de whoop, shibbity boop, boop, boop. We trying to work it out, okay? I feel like in the end, it's gonna look right, but for right now, it just looks like, what, <laughs> what is really going on over there? <laughs> Anyways, so today I am going to be taking a request and I want to get into this. I don't know why I've like, I always ignore you guys. I, 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 I know, I know that is horrible. Okay. But I feel like I should totally be doing stuff like this. So this person said her name is Katrina Scott. Hi Katrina. How you doing baby girl? You all right? Okay. And it's also a fun way to shout you guys out and kind of just include you guys some more. Savannah, can you do a pretty brown and green slash olive color, please? Love, love, heart, heart. I feel like I wanna do more of stuff like this because you guys will give me ideas and you'll keep the makeup videos alive, basically. Uh, I'm not, I probably won't do it all the time, but I'm really gonna dabble into stuff like this, like whenever I see it. Off the top of my head, it's giving a little bit of a autumn type of vibe. Like whenever I think of olive colors, I don't know, I just go straight to, to autumn, but we're in spring, but I still wanna do this. I still wanna make it like springing, okay, and fun. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. And for this, I'm going to be going in to the Earthy palette. Have I done this one before? I don't even know, okay? But this is the perfect palette for that. Now, Beauty Bay does have these palettes in smaller form, basically, but like, hello it's giving olives and browns and lots of greens okay so i feel like i just want to stick within this palette that way it's super easy for you guys to do if you have this palette let's get right on into it i'm super excited and um yeah <laughs> without further ado boo boo let's zoom in so we can get within <laughs> okay oh, let's get close so we finna do the most <laughs> Okay, so first things first, I'm going to kind of tame my brows, but I am just going to be brushing them in the direction that they actually go. I'm not going to be pushing them up. I just want to tame them and keep them in place before I fill them in. And I'm going to be using the Elmer's glue. Listen, I know it sounds childish and I know you boozy chicks out there. You really love your, you know, ABH stuff, but this does not hold down my brows. I'm so sorry. My brows are so unruly. They want to do their own thing that this, it's literally edge control and I'm not throwing any shade on this because if you have more tamed softer brows black girls tend to have a little bit more of a coarser type of brow so this just does not work and I feel so bad like that it just didn't work for me because you know you want to look all nice and cute and you want to know that you're putting good stuff on your face basically like that's the vibe but it, it did not work for me so also, you can use the Gots To Be Glue. I used to use the Gots To Be Glue, the hair glue in my brows. Recently, I, I just really like this. It works, it really works, and it's super simple to use. I know, I know how you girls feel about this product, you know what I'm saying, but um, it works. It works, it holds them in place, and it dries super quick and clear, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and tame my brows. Okay, so I really like that. I love how that looks and they're just, you know, they're just really, really tamed without looking crazy. And to clean up, all I do is use water. With this, you don't wanna use alcohol. You don't wanna use any alcohol-based products. I find that water is literally the best thing to clean up. So I just use like a rag with some water on it. A damp rag, not a, not a rag with a, uh, girl, okay. Y'all know what I mean, okay? Use a damp rag with just water and just wipe up around the edges to remove any residue and that does the trick like super, super fast. I find that anything else doesn't really break down the glue, but because this is a kid product, like water is the best thing, okay? Like, it's just bomb. To fill in my brows, I'm gonna be using the Juvia's Place products, the brow products by Juvia's Place. Use my code. Listen, anyways, so first I'm gonna go in with a pencil and with the pencil, I am going to actually create the shape, fill in the actual brow and like create the shape of the brow, not really fill it in, but to like create the like hair strokes and get that, you know, hair stroke, that fluffy look. I'm gonna be using the brow pen and the brow pen is in ebony, okay? Ebony is darker than dark brown. So they mimic hair strokes a lot better, basically, all right? So 
let's just go ahead and do that to clean up under my brows and to apply my base I'm gonna be using the born this way to the Too Faced born this way <laughs> concealer this is warm sand so I'm just gonna place this all over the eye and then go in and just blend it out but first things first we need to clean up under that brow so just using like a concealer brush I'm just going to go in and wipe up under there really make it nice and sharp and crisp and at the same time I'm gonna use like a fluffy brush to kind of just blend out the eye area okay and I'm gonna be doing my lower lash line as well for those of you who don't know I love to do my eyes first always do my eyes first because I get lots of fallout like I dig into my eyeshadows I get lots of fallout so okay that's why I like to do my eyes first because this palette is big I'm gonna have it just slide in maybe over here I'm gonna slide it in over here so first I'm gonna go in with baked and baked is basically like a rusty type of shade and I'm gonna keep the look simple I'm not gonna you know so I'm gonna keep the lips look simple so first I'm gonna go into my crease and am I gonna apply this on my lower lash line as well mm. Maybe afterwards I'll use it to like blow out, like create like a little transition type of thing. But for the most part, I'm going to be applying this in my crease area and I'm going to apply it all through my crease. I'm not just going to be creating my V. I'm going to carry it all the way over to the corner of my eye. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. Okay, next up I'm going to take squash and squat squash is basically like a much lighter rusty type of color now even though in this palette it looks rusty it came across really chocolatey which is what I was not expecting that can you talk hello oh. get it out what's wrong with you so I'm gonna go in with squash and with this I'm gonna create my transition this is gonna be my transition shade okay I like to place my transition on top because I feel like it shows up a lot more and I know exactly where I want it so you know because when I'm doing like the crease color I always tend to cover up the transition shade so I do it afterwards okay so I'm just gonna go in and follow the same steps but just kind of focus this on the very outer edge of that brown when it comes to my shimmers I know you guys already know the drill so first I'm gonna go in with my NYX glitter glue I really like this stuff it just makes everything a lot more concentrated and it makes the eyeshadows like really stick and last a lot longer so that's what we want so I'm just gonna go ahead and place this all over that lid area like in this whole entire open space right here so I'm just gonna go ahead and pat this out and I'm using a fluffy type of brush for this and I always get questions on the type of brushes that I'm using I'm using a mixture mixture I'm using a mixture of Sigma and spectrum okay the Sigma brushes were a collab with an influencer her name is beauty bird and the spectrum just fit really really nicely because they are white handled and rose gold heads basically okay okay so editing sumi here i am using the shade pickle to apply to my lower lash line like my lower lash line area you guys i don't even know what happened i could have swore i pressed record and everything but i guess not okay and i'm totally blocking the whole entire shot like i i was just completely off this day okay <laughs> okay so now i'm gonna go in with moss and moss is a shimmery olive mossy type of color so with that i'm gonna start to place that all over the lid that glue is dry now so i'm just gonna be using like a packer brush to get in there and really just swipe it on when it comes to shimmers you want to swipe okay mattes you kind of press and then blend with shimmers you just swipe it in okay like that's how they go on all right and your fingers are a great tool but i don't like my fingers i like lipstick brushes concealer brushes anything that's dense and flat those are going to be the best options for applying any type of creamy type of shimmer colors to do a little bit of blending and to tie everything in i'm going to go in with eucalyptus and eucalyptus is more of a matte darker type of olive shade looks like that basically and i'm gonna like just pop this into the outer V area and just kind of carry that over and tie everything in and do just a little bit of blending between the brown and the actual green shimmer shade okay so we're gonna stop right here but before I do my lashes I'm gonna go in and clean up you know and sharpen it up a little bit and I'm gonna be using my micellar water basically this is by Adarma and this is the blue one okay Sebium H2O. Okay, girl. All right. This is a non rinse formula. So I find that. What's that on my hand? Girl, I'm tired. <sighs> 
I find that it's really good for cleanup because it is a non-rinse formula and it really gets the product. Look at that, you know what I'm saying? So that's the reason I like to do my eyes first. For my lashes, you guys already know, you guys already know, use my code, Flutter Lashes Intoxicating Double Lift. I already wore these, I've been wearing these for a long time now, I wanna say. <laughs> I need to wash them because this is probably my millionth wear. I just keep peeling off the glue and putting them back on because I just love the lashes so, so much. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and apply these. And yeah, we're going to zoom out because we're finna show out. <laughs> okay. Okay, time to do this face. So the first thing I want to do is moisturize. I'm going to be using the Nivea Soft Cream and I'm going to apply this all over my face as well as my neck. This product is super affordable and it works wonders. It's really, really good for the skin. It doesn't break me out, you know, and it's great for face, body, and hands. So it's an all-in-one Nivea Cream. Nivea has been around for years and it is a staple in my skincare collection okay so for my first primer i'm going to be using the milk hydro grip and i'm just going to place this like in my t-zone area so basically my forehead and the top of my cheeks and down my nose and my chin for my second primer i'm going to be using the anastasia beverly hills powder this is in golden orange and because it's the orange shade it kind of helps the color correct as well as prime like while it's priming and mattifying the face it also color corrects at the same time so yeah we're gonna be using it for that all right so I'm just gonna use like a powder puff and really really press this into the skin and we're just gonna go from there my holy grail my baby I'm never I don't know if I will ever do without this you know until they create something better I am Okay, this is this is what it is. So this is the MAC paint pot and this is bric a brac and painterly mixed together I have to state that because someone said I can't find that color. This color is mixed Okay, I'm using bric a brac and painterly to create the perfect orange shade for me because bric a brac was way too dark Like it was super super dark and like a bright Orangey red color so it needed to be toned down so I just use painterly to do so so for this I'm gonna apply this like around my mouth in the creasing area of my mouth and this is also going to correct at the same time, but the main purpose I use this is for creasing. And you just literally, I find that your fingers are truly the best way to apply this and you just want to keep patting it in until it feels smooth, like it dries down to like a powder finish because this is an eye primer. It's meant to be used as an eyeshadow base or an eyeshadow on its own. So it has really good staying power as well as it kind of dries down a little bit. For my face, I am only going to be using concealers, okay, concealer and powder. Uh, I'm back to that type of thing like it's just a vibe okay so first i'm gonna go in with my all over concealer and this is toffee by Too faced really really great i don't know there's just something really really comfortable about concealer that works for me so um yeah that's that's what we're gonna be doing all right and i feel like you apply less product because it's a full coverage product like you don't need a whole lot so I'm gonna do it in segments because this does dry down a little bit, so you wanna work fast, okay? And I also have the AC on, I have the fan on me, it's just a lot going on, okay? So we're gonna go in with the concealer and just apply this as a foundation. And I'm just gonna say this now, for the next couple of videos, I am not gonna be applying any foundation on my neck or under my chin because of I, I have been breaking out. I know it's the mask, like, the thing is that Japan has literally lifted, they just recently lifted the mask mandate, but a lot of places they still like wear your mask, they want you to wear your mask. Girl, I'm struggling, okay? I am struggling, but anyways, I'm gonna avoid that area because I'm actually like slightly bleaching that area. Not really the whole entire thing, but I'm doing like spot treatments with my bleach, like with um, my fading cream, so y'all know the vibe okay so we're gonna just avoid the whole entire neck area and just kind of like blend it as much as possible that it doesn't leave like a line down here or anything like that so that's what it's gonna look like that doesn't look too bad okay but we're still gonna focus on like full coverage for the rest of the face now i'm gonna go in with a butterscotch and we're gonna place this in the center of the face basically and I'm gonna leave this a little bit to make it dry so first I'm gonna apply it under my eyes down my nose the top of my lip the center of my chin and the center of my forehead so uh, yeah let's go ahead and do that 
while that is drying down i'm gonna go in with the huda beauty coffee bean this is her foundation stick but i use it for you know contouring basically so i'm actually gonna place this in the hollows of my cheeks right here and i'm gonna do it very lightly i'm not gonna go crazy with this and also in my temples even though i don't feel like i need it because i'm gonna be covering my forehead normally i would place this all under my jaw area but like i said i'm trying to treat that area so I'm, we're gonna stay away from putting too much product down there so i'm just actually gonna go high with it and keep it right on the very jaw not under but on i'm gonna go in and just kind of blend and buff all of that together so first I'm going to start with the hollows of my cheeks and I'm just going to press and kind of push, pu like do a little press and push motion. So we're going to blend this out, tie everything in. You see just a little bit of shadow, not a whole lot. Even though we're doing full coverage, we still want to keep it soft and pretty. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and blend out that concealer. And today I'm just going to be using one concealer. Normally I would do like a lighter one right in there, but you know, I'm just we're just gonna keep it simple okay we're gonna push through so we're just gonna go ahead and kind of pat we're gonna use this little brush like as a mini sponge and kind of just pat the color and you know move it where we need it to be okay so let's go ahead and do that so I'm gonna start off by doing everything else and leave my under eyes for last okay for my liquid blush because I am obsessed okay and I literally had to go back and put like little marks on the back of it so I know that's a D so this is the dewy formula so I can know which one is which, okay? Because like I said, it's not on the actual packaging. And I think it should be on the packaging so we know which one we're grabbing, especially if you're like me and you went and bought all of them, okay? Because it's just a few. I think it's like only four that are actually matte finish. Anyways, this one is called Joy. So with this, I'm going to place this on the highest part of my cheeks. And we're just going to go ahead and blend this out and i am going to be 100 percent honest with you i feel like the dewy ones of course they're going to blend out a lot easier and a little bit more sheer compared to the matte version so for this we're just going to pat this out with my little angle brush you see how quickly it's starting to fade like the matte one doesn't do this time for the powders so first i'm going to go in with kuna kunafa kuna Kunafa by Huda, Huda, okay? Huda then went and got herself in trouble, child. Lord Jesus, help us all. Listen, I've said it once and I'm going to say it again. I feel like business owners should stay off the platform. You know what I'm saying? Just stay in the back. Stay in the back, okay? And let us influencers do our job. You know what I'm saying? Let us be us without you critiquing us. You know what I'm saying? I've said it once, I'm going to say it all the time. You know what I'm saying? Like business owners, especially if you're you feel like you're annoyed all type of person and you're chatty stay in the back stay in the back and tell your, your your employees what's going on how you feel okay am i gonna stop using the powder absolutely not you see what i'm saying i just feel like when you chat like you're chatty chatty you're going to come to a point where you say stuff to offend people because your mouth just be running off you see what i'm saying you're running off at the mouth you're gonna say offensive stuff okay from time to time like you're gonna get yourself in trouble okay you're gonna get yourself in trouble i've seen it a thousand times over <laughs> with chatty people anyway that's no shade to nobody but it's the truth Anyways, I'm going to take this and start to pat that under eye. So I'm just going to apply this on all the areas that I have highlighted on my face. Everywhere that we place the lighter concealer is where we're going to apply this particular product. Okay, for the rest of the face, I'm going to go in with cinnamon bun. And I'm just going to flip my sponge over and use the butt of the beauty blender. And I'm tapping it off on this piece of paper in front of me. And we're just gonna go in and pat this into the rest of the face and set everything in place. And as usual, I'm gonna use that same face powder to contour my nose. Y'all know how it goes, okay? And when it comes to contouring your nose, you always kinda wanna push it back up into your brow area, like, you know, tie in that whole entire area right there. That's, you want that, okay? You want that. Okay, for my blush, volume six by Juvia's Place, the orange one. So we're gonna go in with the brighter side first. And we're just going to stipple that on into the cheeks, the highest parts of the cheeks. And I'm going to carry it all the way over. Like I said, I really like that whole Barbie doll type of blush. So I'm going to really place it on the apples of the cheeks very lightly and buff it out up to the higher part. Don't worry, I'm going to soften it out. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with the lighter powder with a smaller stippling type of brush and we're just going to tie in between the highlight under the, our eyes as well as the actual blush okay so we're just going to kind of buff that 
right in there just blending you know treating this area as if it was eyeshadow you see how that looks compared to over there like it looks a lot more softer and blended girl i almost forgot to bronzy fatty catch poppy's eye okay so very lightly i'm just gonna place this in my temple area and i'm keeping a light hand like i don't want a whole lot you know because i already like how the face is looking and very lightly i'm going to get that chin area and i'm just keeping it on top mostly circular motions i'm not really placing it under the chin okay so <laughs> did we pull it together or are we still looking crazy did, did we did we pull it together um y'all tell me okay <laughs> i think we did i think we did not everything in my body says do a matching burgundy lip everything in my body says that okay so <laughs> did we pull it together or are we still looking crazy did, did we did we pull it together um y'all tell me okay <laughs> okay so mascara is on and i'm also forgetting to do my tear duct area like hello we need something in there i mean we don't really need it but i want to put it okay there is this color in here called lime it is like a chartreuse type of green but i feel like it's gonna tie in am i still giving olive and, br uh, and green and brown like <laughs> Am I heading too far off? Like, are we okay? Are we okay? So I'm gonna use my makeup spray. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Mist. I really like this stuff, but I like it for applying like my tear duct color because it is a dewy formula. So I tend not to actually set my face with it because I need matte, okay? Your girl needs matte, okay? So with this, I'm gonna place this right in my how pretty is that? You know what? I kind of want to sweep that up. That's pretty. I'm going to do the other eye. For my lips, I'm going to be using Morphe Toasty. And with this, I am going to rim my lips. This is just a really true, soft, chocolatey type of brown. I really want to do the red though, you know? But I just feel like it's going to be too much. So let's just dial it back a little bit. Okay. Let's just dial it back a little bit. So we're going to go ahead. And I need to concentrate because take my lips serious, boo. Okay. For my lip color, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Pleasure, is it Maybelline? Milani, sorry. <laughs> Milani Pleasure Lipstick. This right here, I feel like I'm going to need this for the rest of my life, okay? This is Oasis, and it's by Juvia's Place, and as you can tell, it's a bronze, shimmery type of gloss. If you do not have this, it reflects a little gold, a little pink. It is one of those really beautiful glosses that really help to tie in a nude lip so it's always a must for me like right now it's a little ashy a little pinky but this just watch you see the difference between the top lip and the bottom lip like it gives a little tint of color and it has the most beautiful specks of shimmer in there it's just everything it's so good Guys, so that is it for this tutorial i hope you guys enjoyed this i really love how this look came out i feel like you know i pulled it together really nicely yeah there's not a lot to say so i'm just gonna go ahead and do a little modeling section and we're gonna get on out of here so uh yeah enjoy this clip I hope you guys enjoyed that so um yeah leave your suggestions down below if there's anything that you you know would like to see that i have not done or would like for me to recreate or you know what i'm saying like just go ahead and leave it down below okay and um i'll get to it when i can okay but um yeah i want to know what you guys want to see you see what i'm saying so uh yeah let's do that all right listen if it is your first time here go ahead and subscribe join the tribe come on in we are a happy bunch we like to keep it nice and clean and classy in here follow me on all of my social media platforms tiktok ig everything is under my name listen give the video a thumbs up if you liked it share the video well you know what i'm, I'm gonna stop asking y'all to share because y'all ain't sharing nothing okay so just do whatever you want to do girl all right um comment down below because i want to hear from you guys yeah until the next video take care of yourselves and i will see you guys really really soon